Hi, I'm Yujesh Desai, Vice President and General Manager for Logitech G Gaming. Today at Logitech, we announced two new gaming headphones, the Artemis Spectrum G633 and the G933. And what we did is we wanted to design a pair of headphones from the ground up that was really good for all around gaming audio, not just gaming. The core of the design of the headset, this is design is user experience, it's everything really, is, is the audio experience. So the first thing that we started with was me coming up here and talking to Tracy about our design and about our drivers and what we could do. But he's like, I have an idea. I have this new driver, I've been working on this driver concept. And so we talked about it and he put it into a prototype for me. And I got to take it back down to the offices in Newark, California and let everybody listen to it, and everyone was blown away. There's a diaphragm on the driver that needs to move back and forth to move air and create sound. That diaphragm needs to be incredibly light so that it can be moved easily and quickly, uh, but very light materials also are kind of wimpy. Um, they can crinkle easily, they don't remain rigid very well. And so, typically for a headphone driver, you have a plasticky material, a thin plastic that is pressed into a sheet, and then it moves back and forth. But as you go higher and higher in frequency, and it has to move more and more quickly, it doesn't move like a piston or rigidly anymore. It flops all over the place, and that creates distortion, and it also keeps you from hearing whole parts of the content. And so what we did with the, the Pro-G driver was to take the same type of material, still nice and light, and weave it rather than pressing it into a sheet. And by doing this and optimizing it, we have now a diaphragm that moves much more rigidly, more like a piston with a lot less distortion and providing more of the audio content to your ears. Um, and then we started looking at the way it looked and we needed to update our, our visual look. We have a lot of cool new products, our new G502 mouse. We've got these, you know, it's sleeker black, we've got cyan. We're trying to inspire people when they get to their desk to win, right? Because it's not just about the performance. Performance is just important, but it also is about that inspiration. Like you have to have gear that make those cool. I would say inspirations we looked at were like the NASA robotic suits. We looked at new movies like Prometheus, where the design is amazing. I love gear. Um, we looked at, you know, Pacific Rim, Guillermo del Toro's art's amazing. It's got this mech structure. We started going down these different lines of uh, mech and this sort of armadillo look where it was this very sleek, like one single play. And we had a uh, billet. We had this like custom machined kind of design. So we kind of, we ended up going for something that was in the middle. It was sort of like a uh, mechanical and the armadillo. We combined them. We called it mechadillo. <laughs> Just like nerds would, right? And then we did some kind of personal customization uh, things that went into design, like lighting effects. So the headphones themselves are full RGB, support 16.8 million colors. You can sync them with all of your other Logitech uh, gaming devices. So, you know, lots of cool customization that went into the design itself. So, uh, you know, uh, I think it was a point of contention within our group when we started talking about RGB at the very, very beginning, because we want everything to have function and purpose. We're an engineering-based company. We want to have, everything's about the user and will it improve their gaming, right? So kind of the magic sauce for RGB is our SDK, our development kit with our software. We got into the RGB thing and we're like, we're in. We're going to do RGB and we're going to do it right. And it's going to have function and it's going to be beautiful. Um, but we, we wanted to go the next step. It's not worth it to just kind of halfway do something. And it is a little extreme, but it's really cool. We have two separate zones for lighting. They're individually controlled. You can have one color on your panels and a different color on the back. You can have them animated differently. With the developer's kit, you could have the police siren lights flashing. You could have it match environment. You can have it match health. Um, the, the options are really cool. And we made it look aggressive and beautiful and have some cool lines and fun. And it's fun. You kind of have to take it in that sense that this is gaming equipment, it's fun. 
Uh, I think it looks pretty serious without the lights on, but, I, but I, it definitely has that science fiction edge. I'd say the other big differentiator we have is, you know, a lot of gaming headphones or headsets have Dolby surround sound, 7.1, so we have that as well. But we've also added DTS Headphone X. And if you haven't experienced that, it's super cool. It's like, imagine you can take, you know, a room where a game developer has authored or engineered that sound, and then we can now work with the game developer to get a profile of that room and turn it into a profile that you can then hear on your headphones. So you can actually hear the game the way the audio en engineer intended that to be heard, and it's super cool. People love Dolby. Dolby's a great cinematic experience, but DTS is great too. And oh, the choice became up, do we want to offer Dolby or DTS? And the answer was, why not both? We should really have both. So now we have both. I think we're the only headset out there that's got both in the gaming market. In order to measure sound, you have to have a special facility. And we have this great lab with an anechoic chamber. Um, anechoic just means no echo. And we need a room like that because if you have a speaker or a headphone or anything that's going to make sound, once it makes the sound, that sound goes out and bounces off walls and floor and tables and anything that might be in the room. And really what you end up then receiving at a microphone is more information about the room than the actual product you're testing. We have a, we have a friend we call Hats, which is a dummy, and uh, he, he has a head and torso that simulate a human. We can put headphones on him and the microphones in his ears then pick up what a human might hear. And we can measure things like the frequency response of the headphones, which is how much energy they reproduce at each independent frequency. We can measure distortion. And distortion is really any deviation from true to the signal. And when we minimize distortion, then things sound more realistic. The thing that players are going to find the most impressive about this product is frankly the sound quality. I mean literally when we had people put them on and they did blind taste tests, they're like, I can't believe these are gaming headphones. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the one thing that gamers are going to really be blown away by. That not only is it great for in-game audio, but if you're listening to movies or music or anything, it just has a really, really nice sound. All those metrics that you saw earlier. Sometimes gamers get game of rage and they take headphones off and throw them down, so we're to make sure they're they're sturdy and durable. <laughs>